Hi everybody, it's Claire with another art journal video. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm um, going to be doing a page where I'm using the Pensive Face stencil by Dina Wakely. Um, this is one of my favourites at the minute. I think it's because it's so striking. I'm going to be stenciling this onto acetate. So I'm just taping it in place using a bit of washi tape and then I'm using a blending tool and just dabbing through some black paint. Trying not to have too much because I don't want it to bleed under the details of the stencil. So once I've got the first layer on, then I'm just giving it a quick dry. And then I'm just going back in again because I wanted it to be um, quite opaque. So I'm just trying to make sure that the coverage is good. Then I'm just removing the washi tape. And you can see that's really quite effective. So then I'm going to be using this uh, square gel plate from the mini set um, and I'm just going to start layering over some colours. So I've started off with Dina Wakely Ruby and then um, Cheddar. And you can see I was just playing about with a bit of uh, bubble wrap there as well. I think that might have been the only time I used it. Um, and just um, some tools as well to do some mark making. But I think I had too much paint on the gel plate there. But I'm not really bothered because it really is just about getting some colour down on the background and um, just covering the white page. There would have been a layer of gesso on the page as well before I started. So I've also used uh, Dina Wakely uh, Lemon and then um, the Amsterdam Acrylic in Permanent Red Violet Light. As you know, that's one of my favourite colours. And then this is... Um, Huh. I'm sorry, Amsterdam acrylic paint as well in ultramarine violet. Um, it's a really pretty purple. I like that one. And then just going back in with the lemon and just filling in some of the gaps that are left. Then I'm going to use some um, collage paper on the background. This is one that I've created myself just on some uh, really inexpensive tissue paper. Just using some of the um, mark making stamps from the Tim Holtz Media Mark set um, and just stamping it all over the tissue paper. Then I'm just sticking it down using some gel medium. Then I'm using the Mantra stencil and um, some Blackberry and I'm just adding a little bit of text onto the background. This is one of Dina's new stencils. This is called Marks and I'm just adding some more onto the page. I'm just overlapping the stenciling over the top of the gel printing. It's creating quite an interesting background. So then I'm just going to use some washi tape to stick this acetate in place. I like the idea that you can still see the background through it and you can move it so that you can see what else is going on on the page. So this stamp set is called You Are The Universe. It's one of Dina's new sets. Um, and I'm just going to try and create like a little group of the stamps here. So I'm just masking off the area there with a piece of paper so that I can put the stamps behind each other without stamping over the stamp that was there in the first place, if that makes sense. But I guess you can see what I'm doing there, even if I've not explained it very well. So this is just um, ordinary printer paper. It's not card. Um, I quite often just use that when I'm stamping images out. Um, makes it easier to stick down especially if I know I'm not going to do anything else to it, like I'm not going to apply any wet media to it, then it doesn't really matter. So once I fussy cut this out, the next thing I did was to stamp out some of the circles from the, sta the same stamp set. Again, I just stamped them onto printer paper. And 
And then after saying that I don't apply wet media to this, I then do it. Look, then it's OK, it's fine. Sometimes it can make the paper buckle a little bit, but it really doesn't bother me that much. I just wanted to give them a little bit of a colour wash so that when they were on the page they would be there, but not too in your face. So then I'm just using a glue stick to stick these things onto the page. So I'm just grounding those, giving them something to stand on so they're not floating in the air. And then I just go about arranging these circles on the page. Again, just adding more interest to the page and breaking up the background a little bit. Then I'm just outlining them, just some, some scribbly lines. And then I just do a little bit of mark making on the page using the Posca pens. So I decided to do my text on the right hand side of this page. Um, and even though my uh, pensive face image was on acetate so I could see the background through, I really didn't want the writing to be behind the face. So. I decided to pop it over here so that it really didn't interfere with the image on the page. So that's why I've put it down that right hand side. And then I'm just doing some journaling on this left hand page in this lovely big space that's there. It was just perfect for writing down some thoughts and feelings. And then I'm just adding some more detail to the lettering, just using a gold gel pen. I'm just writing inside each letter. And that really is the finished page. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. There are so many ways that you can use this stencil. It's very versatile. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.